Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. And this is Giganta, Matthew's cousin. He wanted to join in on this video. And in this video, we're going to talk about grams and kilograms, which are two measures for measuring weight in the metric system. Now, you probably already know some things about kilograms. What thing would weigh about one kilogram? Have you ever had one liter of juice? One liter of some liquid? That weighs one kilogram, okay? Today we're gonna use this kitchen scale that measures in kilograms and grams. Grams are very small units of weight. There's 1,000 grams in one kilogram, okay? This scale actually has both pounds and ounces and grams and kilograms. So now we're gonna use the scale, the top numbers here, for the grams and kilograms. In this scale, this kg is for kilograms, and zero kilograms is here, then one kilogram mark is here, two kilograms over here, okay? And then these numbers, 200, 400, 600, and 800 are for the grams. Like I said, there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So after 800, we would come to 1,000 grams, which is one kilogram. And then between, let's say, for example, between 600 and 800, there's one line that is a little darker than the others. It's exactly in the midpoint here. So that's for 700 grams. Similarly, for 100 grams, it would be this line. And for 300, over here, this line. And then let's look at the little lines between 200 and 300 grams. Okay, there's three lines there. That means it is divided into four parts. Each 100 gram increment is divided into four parts. So that means that those little lines, the smallest lines, are for 25 grams each. Okay, now let's weigh something. For example, this box of dominoes. And before I do that, I need to set my zero line. This red here needs to line up with the zero. Okay. And there we go. As you can see, it goes close to this one pound mark, but we're reading here in the top. So it is a little bit past the second little line after 400 grams. So maybe 425 grams or a little bit more than that, 430 grams even. Let's try something else. How about Matthew? Would you like to step on the scales? Sure thing, yeah. He wants to know how much he weighs. Okay, you are past the 100 point here. Past the 125, between 125 and 150. Okay. Kilograms? No, 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 grams, Matthew, grams. Let's try this onion. Okay, it is one little line before the 200 gram mark, so 175, right? How about something heavier? My water container. Okay, here we have one kilogram and then 600 grams, and there's 700 grams. Just a little bit past one kilogram, 700 grams. Oh, and Giganta wants to be measured too. Yeah, sure. Come on, come on. Hop on. Can you hop on the scales? Stand. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Here we go. You're just kind of like mathy. You know, a little bit past the 100 gram mark and then between the first and second lines. So maybe 130 or 40 grams. Let's try these tomatoes too. So we are about two and a half lines after the 100 gram mark over here. So between 150 and 175 grams. You want to guess 160 grams. Let's try all of these tomatoes. And for that, I need to take them out from here and put this container here as my tear. And now adjust the zero line again. And let's start piling the tomatoes in there. 
see if I can pile them all in there. And yes, we have here 600 and um, 25, 625 grams. One more thing I wanted to try was just one domino. Let's see. Okay, it does not tilt the scales much, so let's put two there. Almost to the first line there, almost 25 grams. Let's just try some more. Okay, almost to the second line, so almost 50 grams. Yeah, I'm hoping if I could get an even amount. This is about 75 grams there. Okay, now we are about at 100 grams. Okay, that many dominoes for 100 grams. So I want you to do this at home too. Use your kitchen scales and weigh different things in grams. And then after you have done that, also find at home different food items or other products that say the weight on the label in grams and kilograms. And I have a few examples here. It's a can of asparagus. And over here you can see the weight in ounces and grams, 411 grams, right? And then this bottle of ketchup, it says the weight both in grams and ounces. In grams it is 397 grams. All right, I hope you had fun with this video and I hope you will have fun measuring and finding things at home. So we're all done with this lesson.